from the frosty depths of Northern Ontario. Live from my igloo beside the local McDonald's. It's Terry's GG and G. And hello everybody out there, and I hope you are doing well. I have the real time enabled, my sound levels should be fine. And again, I hope you are having a great day out there today. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is a lovely balmy Minus 15 Celsius in the Georgian Bay parts of Ontario, Canada. Hopefully you are having much warmer weather where you are. And I'd like to say that hopefully this time around my side chat will be a bit better. <laughs> uh, I lost, uh, I missed a bunch of... Uh, people's messages uh, yesterday when in the actual live streaming part of the YouTube uh, setup software's live chat actually stopped being connected. So I've separately opened up a window here in my second web browser and actually have the live chat streaming live there so I can make sure of things. Hello Dante Old Man Dan. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hope you're doing well. Um so there's not well I have three people watching so let's see. Um Again, I'm going to continue trying to do streams uh, over the next few days with more stuff that is uh, being released at NAM. Not so much uh, coverage per se, but just more so showing the actual uh, what actually has been announced at NAM and what is actually flooding out onto the market since then. And so earlier I got a email from LA Music, which is uh, one of the Canadian major retailers. And uh, I... Uh, started opening it up and I noticed that they had NAM 2020 highlights with a option down below underneath saying click to pre-order so I took it upon myself I clicked to open it and uh, sure enough as we see here on the NAM 2020 highlights page we actually have product that is actually listing. Some of it has a photo and some of it actually has some pricing. So this is kind of awesome. And I don't know if too many American retailers are doing this, but props to LA Music who is, I believe, at the NAM show, uh, as well as the other various YouTubers uh, we all know and love, and some we even hate. So, again, let's scroll through this website and see what is new for 2020 from the various companies at NAM. And again, let us look at Canadian pricing to those of us in Canada and what some of these products 
uh, are going to look like and cost to us. And it will also give you U.S. folks and use in other parts of the world a better idea on what the pricing is going to be like for these products in your area. Yeah, sorry, in your area. Like, specifically, if you're in, in America, you know that these products that you see in price are actually going to be about 25% less money than what you see the Canadian price is. So, say, for example, a $600 guitar is going to be more around 400 US for you. So, I have... Uh, put the web browser in full screen mode I have zoomed in the page to 150 so that the product icons and images are better viewable to those of you out there and let us start scrolling uh, I have sorted date new to old as well so, let me just get this. Oh, it won't go out of the way. Yeah, well. <laughs> so, let's start with, uh, apparently, some Fender products. That I guess are being launched at NAM. So, we have some a para a Fender Parallel Universe Volume 2 Maverick Dorado. Ebony Fingerboard and Ultra Burst. Well, this gives an indication of the item. 3200 Canadian. That is pricey. And uh, this is a early June pre-order. finish on the body is really nice interesting that they got the uh, Filtron pickups and of course uh, as some people didn't know actually Fender last year actually bought the Bigsby company so Bigsby's that are put on the Gibsons are actually now a Fender product which makes it kind of interesting. So, it's actually not bad looking. It's not bad looking per se. The finish on the body and matching to the headstock is super sharp. Next up, we have a Fender Limited Edition Jazz Telly, which actually was part of I believe the parallel universe last year and this one is Rosewood fingerboard surf green 2600 Canadian and is apparently available late January Hmm, bound neck. That's not bad. Fender Parallel Universe 2. Now that's different. Well, actually it's weird. Here they say actually Volume 2. Here they actually say Parallel Universe 2. So, these I guess are second generation or next revision Parallel Universe items. So we have the Parallel Universe 2 Jazz Strat Rosewood. Looks like a rosewood bound fingerboard. Block imp bound fingerboard. Block inlay. Mystic Surf Green Lacquer. 2600 Canadian. Available possibly early 20, 
early April 2020. It's not bad looking. Okay, the same as above, the Dorado. Except in a Fire Mist Gold. That actually looks pretty nice. I actually think it looks I think it actually looks nicer than the uh, burst finish the ultra burst even though the ultra burst is really sharp so next up we have a parallel universe 2 uptown strat rosewood fingerboard and static white Wow. So basically, worn white. 2600 available, possibly May 2020. But I really do like the look of that product. Looks like it has the Tim Shaw, uh, Shaw Bucker fender pickups uh, just for speed sake I'm not going to go into the super detailed details of some of these items uh, just because of the simple fact that there is uh, probably 12 plus pages and they only show them in small amounts So, Schechter PT SLS Evil Twin in satin black and SHC. That's a sharp look. Fishman pickups. Worn look on the back. Tummy cut, heel curve, wow. South Korean, satin black, neck tuner, Schecter locking, finger, uh, fender locking tuners, ebony fingerboard, maple walnut paduke multiply, carbon reinforced rod inlay, yeah, that's what we can see there. Yeah, that's that's a sharp looking guitar. 1600 1650 Canadian. Jackson Pro Series Dinky DK2 Modern Ash HT7 Ebony fingerboard, baked blue. Sounds like actually a color that Robert Baker should have for a guitar. Robert Baker's baked blue guitar. <laughs> I'd like to get into a uh, seven string again. Or not again, but attempt to buy a seven string uh, but again it's hard not to go cheap and also at the same time also not look at like expensive as well too it's kind of a weird one so same thing except in a baked white that's pretty sharp looking and Awesome with the matching headstocks. I think a lot more companies are realizing that matching headstocks are a, a big important thing. Okay, this apparently they have on sale. Pre-order for April 2020, the Keith Merrow KM6 Mark III Hybrid. In Snowblind. 
Nice white body, nice white matching headstock. Black hardware. White humbuckers. Looks like a hip shot bridge, yep. Yeah. What I find interesting to note is looking at the fretboard, it's almost a pale white. And that is 12, 1300 Canadian. Next up, at 900 Canadian, expected to be out June 2020, is the Washburn Michael Sweet Striper. J40 SCE acoustic electric guitar. It's an interesting finish on it. Beautiful wood figure, though. Wow. Crazy ass wood figure. Again, Washburn really are cementing themselves as an acoustic maker after moving away from electric guitars. Uh, this is solid Bear Claw Sitka, Bear Claw Sitka Spruce top. Highly quilted maple side and back bracing quarter bracing is quarter sun hand scalloped Sitka spruce wow <laughs> just so much stuff and it's a $900 guitar my god that thing looks like it's should be like double the price of how that looks uh, the classic Schechter PT Fastbacks in various gold, uh, various colors, one being gold. Pre order for April 2020, 850 Canadian. And it looks like they've put a Filtronic style pickup in it. For you lefties out there, the Schechter Miles Dimitri Baker SVSS in crimson red burst satin. Wow, that's nice too. Ooh. Neck through. Very interesting. 1900 Canadian. For eleven fifty Canadian pre April twenty twenty, the Schecter C one exotic spalted maple. Unfortunately, this is the only image they have of it, but that is sharp looking. Uh, again, another fastback, except in gloss black. Again, the same fastback except in Olympic white. It's a shame that they didn't actually put these together better. Group together. We have a Jackson Pro Series signature Dave Davidson Warrior. Ebony fingerboard and walnut stain. May 2020. Oh, it is a seven string. Okay, so. Over the last decade, Boston based act Revocation has firmly established itself as one of the finest death metal and thrash metal genres. Okay, so it's geared towards thrash and death metal. Like the skein. Not a fan of the. Not a fan of the body shape. Uh, I do like Jackson, though. 
Schechter PT Apocalypse in Red Rain. Maybe I will actually click on some of these if that's the case that they got some images going on. Um, Ibanez Sound Gear Four String Electric Bass Surreal Black Burst Gloss. They apparently have a four string and five string model. I had one of these before, one of these sound gears, and it was actually a very nice bass, and I would definitely consider getting one again. 649 Canadian. And for $50 or more, you can get a five string version of that. Uh, Schechter Synergy Custom Hip Shot. They only got the one pick of this. Everybody's seen these before, though. I actually got offered one of these, and I actually passed it up. One of the, I guess, original ones. Uh, Ibanez Premium Four String African Mahogany Matte White Pearl. I don't get that. Why would you do a pearl color and then make it matte? <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of a pearl color, I think. Fingerboard roasted bird's eye. Hmm. That's interesting. Nice looking. 1600. Two watching. Well, thank you to the two that are watching. Or three. <laughs> two or three, welcome. <laughs> Let me just make an adjustment so I can kind of hear what I'm saying. All right. So again, five string version. Oz Dimitri with a maple neck. Wow, they're actually making the sound gears in premium now. My god, $1,700. But that's actually pretty sharp. Fender 70th, 70th Anniversary Broadcaster Maple Fingerboard Blackguard Blonde. Late February, 2600 Canadian. That's nice. Schechter P4 4 string base and ivory, $1,200. Eep. There's Ibanez 6 string ash pang. Pang panga top with gig bag, dual shadow burst flat. That is a sharp looking finish. Wow. And here we actually start to see some of the Gibson products that they also announced early before NAM started. The Pretty Night of NAM. 
or Eve Knight of Nam. So we have the Gibson Les Paul Special Tribute P90 Edition in worn white for 1300 Canadian. Same thing except in uh, cherry finish. Vintage ebony. And natural walnut is the other color in this series. The natural walnut looks really nice, I'm, I must admit. And the other thing about this is, as you see here, they actually have it for the same price point, but they actually make it in a humbucker version. the walnut natural well natural walnut oh my god <laughs> some more nice Ibanez bases. Poplar burl tops. Fender JMJ Road Worn Mustang Base Black. 12. Jeez. Thirteen hundred Canadian. I do like the black with the white perloid pickguard look, though. Uh, known as a true renaissance man in modern music scene, Justin Madell Johnson's bass credits include Beck, Nine Inch Nails, and more. Hmm. His production credits include... Johnny Jimmy Eats World Panama. Wow. Okay, so he's a musician producer guy. Wow. Another cool looking Ivan's bass. Again, more the Gibson product. 70s Explorer. $2,650 Canadian. Eep. And the same thing for the Flying V. And to those wondering about pricing on the Gibson Limited slash Les Paul Standard. The, all the different bursts, Vermilion, Anaconda, November, all have a pricing of seven, sorry, 3799 Canadian, basically 3,800 Canadian. And they seem to indicate that they actually are available right now. <coughs> so 
even though probably no Aaron and a few others are out on the name floor right now. And uh, I'm not sure if Stay Metal Ray is actually at NAM or not, but this is the new Jim Root Jazzmaster V4. Not sure why the V4 moniker is for, but. Has his new pickups in it. Unless it's just simply to mean version 4. My god. Look at the binding and inlay on that fretboard. Ugh. That's nice. And that is a price point of eighteen hundred and twenty dollars Canadian. And again, another controversial signature model guitar to some individuals, like <laughs> as Brad kind of felt. Brad, the guitar guitarologist, said. Fender's Tommy Morello Stratocaster Rosewood Fingerboard in black. I wonder if they actually give you the soul power thing to put on it or whatnot. Interesting how he has how the springs are actually tied into the trim on it. And it's got a locking nut. Oh, that's right. It's got a Floyd Rose on it. That's right. Duh. Black. That's weird. Black Floyd Rose. But chrome tuners. And again. Keyboards. Drums. Fender Tony Franklin fretless precision bass ebony fingerboard with lake blasted lake placid blue I like that with the uh, black marbled marbly kind of perloid pickguard Apparently, it looks like Fender has rebrought or relaunched the Jim Atkin JA90 Telecaster Thin Line. And a nice, that looks nice with the white. Matching headstock, matching set neck, neck, everything matching other than the pickup covers being black in the chrome hardware. 17, or sorry, 1080 Canadian. And looks like it's apparently available. Now we're getting into some kind of cheaper, interesting stuff here. Gretsch Streamliner Center Block Jr. With Broadtron pickups in Village Amber. Really kind of looks more like natural, never mind anything to do with amber hmm huh. volute or not volute 
what is it again? They call it scarf joint. Interesting. Then again, the $500 Canadian price point. It's not that surprising. Not bad. Ibanez Niato Double Cutaway Series. Pre order now, coming soon. $4.99 Canadian. Yellow Lemon. Ooh. Art Core AS seventy three G six hundred and thirty Canadian Rose Gold Metallic Flat. Wow. That looks sharp. Same thing except transparent indigo fade. Seven hundred and twenty-nine. Art Core Expressionist Single Cutaway Flat Black Eight. Eight forty-nine. And be right back, folks. Quick bio break. And I am back. Thank you to the three people watching at the moment or listening. Let's go on to now. This is page seven. Now have the Ibanezes, uh, the Lindenwood single cutaway, rose gold metallic flat, 629, 630 Canadian. Ibanez George Benson signature with case, jet. Jet Blue Burst, and that is one sharp looking color. Nine hundred and fifty Canadian with case. That's crazy. 
and here it is the same model except with an antique amber and that looks pretty nice too and some of the El Cheapo Ibanez Geo 6 strings in some new colors candy apple red metallic light green metallic light blue and black for 250 Canadian and Ibanez art quilted maple art green top sunburst 500 Canadian and Ibanez Axion label NATO NATO Nodi it's got to be NATO body flat black 1500 Canadian uh, Ibanez the same thing Aura Burst Axion level. Jeez. Fishman pickups, one volume. And hardtail. Hmm. Pre order. Seventeen hundred Canadian. A similar one, it's a blue chameleon. Jackson Pro Series Soloist Ebony Fingerboard Red Mercury Coming in April Fourteen hundred and thirty Canadian, the Jackson Pro Series Soloist, three <clears throat> L M, three L, sorry S L three M, maple fingerboard with rainbow crackle. <clears throat> they have a. EVH Wolfgang special with ebony fingerboard and a burgundy mist metallic, ice blue metallic, and a deep purple metallic for Coming in April for thirteen hundred Canadian. Now this I seen and I was actually really impressed with and I thought it's sharp. <coughs> it's the Jackson X series soloist S. SLX DX Swirl Satin White Swirl. I like that swirl on that. That's just wicked. And a good price at a thousand Canadian. Uh, red version of it. The Gretsch. Jim Dandy Gretsch Double Jets Jade Grey Metallic London Grey Metallic Walnut Stain Aged Natural Especially for those of you folks who want to get their uh, Angus 
Young on. Or sorry, Malcolm Young on. That would kind of work. Uh, Gretch. Electromatic Rat Rod Hollow Body Single Cut with Bigsby in Matte Fan Phantom Metallic. interesting how they have red in the inside of the pickups. They also have it in a matte vintage white and a black. Excuse me. Schecter sheet I sent Schechter, she, Sharon, Pearl. <laughs> Aqua Burst, Schechter, seven string, 900 Canadian. Again, I find it weird that they're marking some of these things on sale, but meanwhile, it's new launch stuff. It's like, okay. So apparently we have EVH Wolfgang WG standards for 850 Canadian and they feature bait maple fingerboards. Tacticab yellow, slime green, neon orange, which kind of looks more like red. And for $50 more, the same except with a spalted maple top. That looks way better than actually the other colored ones. Uh, EVH amp and matching 2x12. Here's some more Wolfgang WG standards. Uh, quilt maple tops. Chlorine burst. Tahiti night. Black fade. Black fade looks pretty nice. Northern lights. Well, I don't know about that. The transparent amber. And the EVH Stripe Series Frankie Red, White, Black Relic for 2020. 2200 Canadian. Coming April 2020. Cherville Pro Mod DK24. 1200. This is interesting, the Cherville Pro Mod DK22 SSS. So it's single, 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 but what's interesting is the fact that they have the rear pickup tilted kind of a la Hendrixy kind of style. Caramelized maple fingerboard. Hmm. 1,370 Canadian. Available in electric blue, gloss black, and a Pharaoh's gold, which actually looks really nice with the fingerboard. Pro Mod Sandina Style 1HH. Ebony fingerboard, gloss black. Basically 1100 Canadian. Permite Socal Style 2. 24 HHHT CM Caramelized Maple Fingerboard. Snow White Finish. 
That looks nice. Same thing in a satin black. The natural looks really nice. Black. <laughs> now this is kind of wild. And the old yellow. <clears throat> Figured maple top. Satin shell pink. And here we have a interesting spin on like the Eric Johnson Strat. It's a Fender Rarities Stratocaster Thinline HSS solid rosewood neck and violin burst for basically 3300 Canadian. Seven string. <clears throat> now I believe we start going into the Epiphone stuff like I was showing last year. Now I think these two guitars are the ones that are being built in the US. Excelente in natural. Wow. That is crazy nice looking. One thousand two hundred and seventy Canadian. And that's on sale. <laughs> And the Frontier, which looks like a fancy kind of dove or whatever. But I actually like the look of that. That's a lot better looking. Oh, yay, lovely snowfall warnings in our area. Yeesh. And this is 1150 for the price. If these two guitars I was just showing here are the ones that they're actually building in the U.S., they probably would be worth their the price, which I think in that instance is is actually pretty justified. And especially for how this master built. Excellente looks. 1,270 Canadian is a steal in that regard. Okay, so now we're going to get into the the Epiphone products that I was showing off yesterday and starting to see Starting to see some of the Canadian pricing on the stuff. Uh, the Epiphone Original Master Built Collection Texan and Faded Cherry, 1000 Canadian. And natural, the same price. Now, they don't have the images up, but they do have the placeholders in place. The This is the Gibson SG Modern figured with the trans black fade I showed. 
and that is from LA Music going for 780 Canadian. The Les Paul Modern, they actually have some interesting colors different than what they initially had in the Gibson. These are all part of the Epiphone inspired by Gibson. They have a Magma Orange Fade, 979 Canadian, basically 980 Canadian. They have a Cafe Latte Fade, a Carolina Blue Fade, Sparkling Burgundy, 899 Canadian for the modern, the Pelham Blue version, 899. It's actually, eh, don't have many pictures of it there. But I was saying that about this model, that if they could keep this under in that kind of close to 800 range, that they actually would have quite a few amount of sales on it. So 899 isn't too bad. So here's one of the ones I was saying as well too, could be sleeper as well, like I said, for being in that 400 to $700 range. This is the Modern Collection Les Paul Classic in Gloss Cherry, or just Cherry Sunburst. <clears throat> Not a very good picture, but looks pretty good. And at uh, seven hundred dollars, that's not bad. Yeah, these are preliminary picks. Honey burst. It's so weird because the honey burst looks not a whole lot different than the cherry burst. So here's the lower cost ones that I was mentioning. On the US retailers, they're $3.99, but up here for us folks in Canada, they are actually 503rd Canadian. Here's the the Warren Ivers Green. And I believe the other one is Cherry. Yes, Warren Cherry. So $530. Here is the worn version of the Les Paul Classics. So basically, if I if I understand that correctly, I think there is a fifty or seventy dollar price difference between a worn and a gloss version of the Les Paul Classic Epis. This one, Trogley said he wanted to buy this one. Oh, I gotta buy this purple one. <laughs> so, again, uh, 630 Canadian. And here is the gold top. It kind of almost looks like barf green or baby poop green or something like that, someone was saying. 
Warren Ebony. Ibanez BFK Premium Basswood with Gig Bag, seventeen forty nine. The AZ series. And then at basically almost eighteen hundred Canadian. Now we get to the studios. Wine Red, the Smokehouse Burst, and the Ebony. Oh, and the Alpine White. Now, that makes it interesting because basically the studio is almost in competition with the classic faded, or classic worn, or faded, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty much the same price point. Well, this one actually has more than one pick. Doesn't look too bad in the white. And thank you to those who are sticking around and have watched for the last 60 minutes. One hour. Woohoo! <laughs> I am not sure how many more pages there's going, going to be of this, but I will keep going through this diligently. <laughs> more AZs, some different pickup configurations, tops, pick guards, looks like they're charging no difference for having no pick guard versus pick guard. Here's what I was curious about in the way of the new Epiphones. This is the new 2020 Epi Explorer. This is coming in at a 850 Canadian dollar price point. So, so far, the Explorer, the Flying V, and the Firebird are all at the same price point of $849, $850 Canadian. That's not too bad. Uh, this was, I think, the one that I actually said I was interested in. And I was kind of curious about Apparently a rolled neck on it. Error correct neck profile. New Kalamazoo headstock. Pro Bucker pickups. The Epi SG Custom. Yeah, so 320 Canadian. That's where I figured it was going to come in at. The Epi 1961 SG Standard with Maestro is 780 Canadian. The non Maestro version 629. Again, coming in at the price points that I thought. And the SG Standard and the Cherry and the Black are coming at the same price point. Which I figured would be around $600.
629 for the uh, white model. So far, I like the the black. The white isn't too bad. Okay, more Ibanezes. A Vox Artist Starstream modeling. $2,000. Eep. Okay, now we're getting into some of more of the LPs. Standard 60s. Ice T, Ebony, and the Bourbon Burst. It looks like, as well as the 50s models, are at a $850 price point. Let's look at the sixties there. Ice T Bourbon Burst. Yeah, they don't really do much. Then just Sunburst fifties. Of course, everybody wants the gold top. <laughs> Metallic gold, they call it. I do like the Heritage Cherry Sunburst look. That is nice. So that's actually about where I thought they would sit. Maybe a little bit higher, but again, we're talking about the exchange rate between Canada and the US affecting it as well too. More of the Ibanez AZ series. That is a crazy look. Really nice. Seymour Hyperion pickups. Roasted maple neck. Almost 2900 Canadian. Eesh. Transparent flat gray. Ibanez 42. That's a decent price. Uh, they apparently now are offering the Super Beetle Bluetooth speaker and amp in black and white. So what is this? Coming February 2020. 50 watt blue spook Bluetooth audio speaker auxiliary in jack equipped with AM plug input. Yeah, wow. Oh. <laughs> Lando might have missed the boat on that. Five hundred Canadian. Hmm. More Vox bases. That's interesting. Iron is iron label seven string, twelve thirteen hundred Canadian, a baritone for eleven fifty. Now we've seen these showed it in the name by uh, a few people that are actually 
doing the YouTube the uh, NAM coverage. The Caribbean Islet flat look. That is super sharp. And especially with the poplar burl top kind of lends that perfect kind of ideal for the looking like sand thing. Hmm. Ivan is getting into the headless game. Bases. Actually, headless and multi-scale. Wow. Not cheap, though. Sheesh. Ivan is SA360. Okume body. Quilted maple top. Black Mirage Gradiation, 670 Canadian. That's got a pretty nice look to it. Same thing except with Sapphire Blue. Basically a hundred and forty dollars more. Step up step up into the four sixty range with tropical tropical squash. What the hell kind of color naming is that? Just call it squash. Cause that's really what it looks like. Squash or cantaloupe. Cantaloupe burst. There's an easier one. Still looks nice. Sunset Blue Burst. That's gonna uh, kind of on the similar vibe or theme, but I think that's a little bit more appealing and nicer to the eye. Eight hundred dollar Canadian price point, not too bad. NATO Roasted Maple Neck with Gold Hardware, Laser Blue Mat, 1,250 Canadian. And here's a lower priced one, except with a sparkle finish. Turquoise. Kind of looks, yeah, I guess it is turquoise. This looks a little green. More kind of premium, nice kind of roasted maple neck, ash top, antique brown stain, a low gloss. Yeah, for those of us that appreciate the, the wood look, that's a really nice look. Ooh. Pre order coming soon. Thousand dollars. Ninety nine. Joe Saturani signature guitar. Coming in at looks like red. Soda blue. Except the soda blue from Maple Pick Pick uh, Maple Fingerboard. Uh, 
Okay, these are hiding in the back. They should have been up front more. So, here we have the one that I was saying that would be at an interesting price point. Hey, Addicted to Gear. Nice to see you actually uh, stop by the channel. <laughs> Yes, there's lots of interesting stuff, uh, especially looking on the Canadian pricing and what's available for us here in Canada. These are one of the ones that I've kind of been interested in, is the newly inspired um, Epi SG Specials with P9, dual P90s. And they're actually... Uh, LA Music is pricing them at 560 Canadian. Z Sounds was listing them for 400 US. But I think these at this price point are actually going to be really nice. Schecter Corsair 2020. Pricey, but very nice looking. Some golden stuff. Oh, here's more Epiphone stuff. So, the Junior with the dog ear, 530 Canadian, and the Les Paul Special, 560 as well too, so basically the same grouping as the SG Special P90s. Projector. Well, that's kind of interesting for you know, those that are Nick Johnson Johnston fans. You can get the Schecter Traditional, an Atomic Green for 1,150 Canadian. Atomic Green, Atomic Snow. Ooh. Atomic Frost. And single coil, same price. Except it looks like two colors. Schichter Banshee GT. Wow. Matching red pickups. Fourteen hundred Canadian Schecter C eight multi scale silver mountain almost nineteen hundred Canadian Jeez It's a cool looking finish. And again, regular versions, regular scale, multi-scale, seven string. And, well, that apparently takes us to the end, finally, folks. I'm sure some people are uh, happy about that. <laughs> But that's 22, uh, 22 pages. 
that they've posted of new products from NAM. So that's interesting. So let's do like what it says on the thing here. Let's talk. <laughs> so some of these products definitely are things I would have an interest in. Things would I actually be able to afford? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of this stuff definitely is out of my ballpark. That was some cool stuff. Uh, in regards to the actual... The Epiphone pricing on the new Epiphone stuff... It's pretty much where I figured the pricing would be. Uh, in that kind of... Um, 500, 500 to 900 Canadian ballpark range. Uh, looking at the difference between, say, this Les Paul Special Tribute versus the Epi version, I don't know if you can really justify the extra, like, six hundred dollars unless you were fanatical about having to have the Gibson name and book book match thing on the uh, headstock versus the epi because they're literally like not that far apart other than basically that name on the headstock and the tip of the headstock. I definitely wouldn't have any interest in the slashed stuff. No. Morello, I could see. Root, I could possibly see. The Jim Atkins thin line would be interesting. There's a lot of stuff that I'm finding some like pretty awesome finishes even at a lower price point but at the end of the day you're talking about most people in this day and age in North America not everyone has basically over $600 to spend on an instrument hey funny that you pop on here Johnny Look, you've probably already seen these, though, at, at NAM, But they're already listing these for a Canadian, uh, Canadian retailer, LA Music. Wolfgang Specials with uh, metallic finishes for about 1300 Canadian. They got uh, quite a few, actually, I'm surprised. Of the um, oh yeah, cool. <laughs> Crappy, I missed it. So hopefully you're having a good time at uh, at Nam. Uh, be sure uh, also if anyone is actually watching at the same time. Do give uh, Mr. Johnny Bean a follow. He's an awesome individual with an awesome channel. And some awesome co-hosts as well that he has on at times. Yeah, I was saying, Johnny, as much as I'm not into the Wolfgangs, 
I really was impressed with the look of this one. With the uh, exotic spalted maple cap with the uh, baked maple fingerboard. Hey, Alex. God, the people, the Nam people are kind of creeping in now. <laughs> And of course, I'm sure Johnny's seen these. The EVH 5153s. <laughs> well, all this stuff EVH. That's Johnny's thing. <laughs> but uh, I will say at the same time, Johnny, when looking at these prices Canadian, I actually, I must say, I'm actually impressed with the pricing at 900 Canadian and some of these are like some awesome looking guitars if you're curious about the uh, Frankie up here in Canada what it's going for listing wise 2200 Canadian It's probably a lot cheaper down there. Probably like, um, probably more closer to like what? Probably fifteen or eighteen hundred US. Oh, I bet. <laughs> As I was saying here in my in my kind of summary on things, I'm finding that uh, there's a lot of amazing finishes that are going on on guitars that are coming out this year. Like I don't mean just necessarily wild, mind-blowing finishes, but just the overall colors and whatnot. Like uh, I was saying about. Uh, earlier about like this Exelante like 1270 Canadian but the detail on that in the woods and inlays and stuff is just like crazy alright catch you later Johnny safe drive back over Kind of curious to see when this color comes out to see what it looks like. The uh, Epi Les Paul Modern and Cafe Latte fade. Oh, hey, Michael B. <laughs> Catch you later. Take care, Michael. Thanks for stopping by and perusing with me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying too, Alex, is that the hummingbirds, those two hummingbirds look like they're 
they're definitely kind of more upper echelon uh, models, which I think Eljean Go was saying with Ben the other night was that a lot of them had the ideas to actually move the Epiphone brand into its own kind of segment. And uh, if I go by the pricing Canadian, they really kind of have um, stepped up things and that now you actually can look at one of these Epiphones in a in that sub one thousand dollar price point, but they're actually look like they're a bit better quality, and in uh, a little bit of better options uh, in regards to like some of the stuff you would get on like a Gibson. Like, a lot of these Epiphones, like, that I've been looking at, like, the Moderns, excuse me, some of the classics and that, they're, uh, they all got, like, coil tapping and stuff, so it's almost like, I think it's almost like they've done away with, like, the standard plus top and whatnot. I don't know if they'll bring that series back, but if they stick with this lineup... And by Canadian pricing, they are probably, I would say, in a comparable 2019 model, they're probably anywhere between maybe 50 to $200 more in some instances. Uh, and like I was saying, when you start looking at, like, the... Um, the 699 to 800 range epis, they're not garbage. Um, the one I was saying that I was interested before was the um, was the uh, SG Custom, and it's listing for like 820 Canadian, which is reasonable considering the Gibson version of the same guitar that I actually seen. Um, uh, an hour away in a, in a town an hour away I seen the actual Gibson version of it the same guitar except with, there's, with, with the Gibson headstock and Gibson branding and whatnot. and that guitar they wanted I think the dealer guy wanted 4600 Canadian for it and they're selling one for 819 or 820 Canadian and the big difference on top of that the one that was at the dealer the Gibson actually had a rich light fingerboard and the Epiphone one actually has a genuine ebony fingerboard which is like you know big time difference and uh, the only other thing I'm noticing too is there's some conflicts here like what I have here on the screen here for the um, studio, the studio and the classic models have the exact same price points, 630 Canadian. But it's like, it's almost the same thing. <laughs> so it's kind of like a weird kind of conflict. It's like, okay, do you want a studio? Do you want a classic? You know, what's the difference? Uh, basically... Nothing. <laughs> it's almost the same options. Almost the same, same options. Same pickups. Like just crazy. Oh. Let's see, four ten, and I've been streaming for ninety four minutes. Oh, and also, Canadian-wise, I'm not sure if you're into these specific guitars. Um, uh, Alex, the Epiphone, uh, Explorer, Flying V, and Firebird are all at the same price point, Canadian-wise. 
850 Canadian. And again, the Epi SG Custom that I was mentioning that I'd have an interest in is at $820 price point, which is definitely very interesting. So let me bump that back up. Bloop. All right. Thank you very much, folks, for uh, tuning in and watching me stream more of the NAM products hitting the market uh, from the couple manufacturers and those that are being listed on LA Music based out of the Toronto, Ontario, Canada area. Those of you that might be lurking around that are at NAM, hope you are well, be safe, don't get too tipsy. <laughs> and everyone else that uh, viewed the stream, or is going to view the stream in the future, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I will catch you later. Bye for now.